Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to talk about this Markdown application that gives you Kanban board views. So if you're looking for a solution where you're using Markdown and you want to get that Kanban view, this might be the application for you. It's called I'm um, Done. Let's go ahead and take a walkthrough of it. But before I get into the walkthrough of this application, go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and it helps the channel and these videos and content get out to other people just like yourself. So as we can see here on this initial page, the application is supported and will run on your, on Apple, Windows, and also uh, Debian and Red Hat Linux. Once you download the application and you open it up for the first time, you will be greeted with this window here to set up your project and you will be asked to choose a folder or to choose a template. Now the templates here, I'm not gonna walk through. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a folder so that we can just get the basics down. So I'm gonna choose folder here. I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it I'm done and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Now you get a couple different ways that you can set up and save your cards. So you can have your cards saved as a new file for each one. You can have all the cards in one, one file in itself, or you can have a new file every day for your cards. Now I'm going to leave it at the use a new file for each card um, setting here. And I'm also going to enable the add getting started cards to this board uh, to kind of walk through some of the different features of this application. And also by doing it this way, this will show you how cards are set up in a single file as well. Let's go ahead and hit save. It creates this, this board here and we can see that I'm in the I'm done project and they already have some content set up. So this, this one here is set up with a, a notes list, a to do, doing, done, and then you have a recently completed. If we scroll over, you can see that we can add uh, additional lists to the project. And if we go in here and we go to add a list here, we'll call it in progress. And if you see the alert here, we do, we, we do need to format our list title in a particular way. It needs to be in all caps. And then if you have any spaces, you need to put either a dash or an underscore. Okay, so we've updated the title here to be all caps with a dash for the space. We'll go ahead and add that list. And this list, you can drag it around on the canvas here to where you want it and you can add additional lists and then add cards to it or drag cards into this list that you've just created. We'll go ahead and delete this one here for now. We will not need it further in this particular video. And we'll scroll over to the, the other uh, cards that we have in this, in this uh, project. Now on the far left, left here, we can see that there there is a, a card here that shows all of the keyboard shortcuts. So you'll probably want to learn these to help navigate through this application. And we have a few cards here in the to do that are going to help us kind of get started here and walk you through the, the features of this application. So we'll move the top card here over to the the doing status here or list and we can see that you can easily move these cards back and forth from one column to the next there's also a count that shows up at the top here of how many cards you have in this particular list and if you're hovered over the the card itself, you do get these little icons here that shows up. One to open the file, one to edit the card or open, yeah, open the file that this card has content in. Remember that could be one file 
for every card that you have or it could be all your cards are in a single file itself um, you can edit the card you can delete it and then it has a little tweet this card icon there as well so if we go into the open file here we can see that this file has opened in sublime text let's close these other windows so that we just see this particular uh, document here and in this document you have some front matter here and then it gets into the area where it's formatting for all of the cards and the heading for each card we can see here is using the heading 2 and you get this this link format here this can be changed in the in the settings so you do have a couple of different ways you can format your your cards now in this one here we see this the status is now doing previously it was to do if we go back and change that back over to to do and then we open up the file again you can see that it, it changes the status here now in the card we'll go ahead and move it over let's see what it's asking us to do here and pretty much we've walked through these things that um, it's talking about here so we're done with that file and once it's done it moves it over and, and it's complete now we have the second card here saying that it supports the tasks in your card and what you do you get here at the top of this card it, it does get blocked when you hover over it with these other icons but if you uh, remove the mouse pointer you can see the entire uh, progress bar there now because we only have one if we select this it goes to the uh, progress is done so now that this is complete, we can move that one to done. We'll move over this other one, configure your editor. Now you can go into the three dots here and you can configure your editor in the board settings. If we go into the board settings, you can see there's settings for the journal. So you can format how that would look, how your cards would look, any filtered lists, and any uh, new file templates you want to add in here. We'll go ahead and mark these things off so you can see the progress bar and how it shows if you have multiple tasks in your card, the progress bar steps through the progress once you're through each individual task. And then when all your tasks are done, you're finished. Okay, the next one here talks about the daily journal. So if we go into the three dots here, we have a markdown journal selection or option here, and we can open up the daily journal. Now this is a simple text file where you can, this is, oh, you can just type in certain information in here and it's, it's not much to it. It's a, a typical journal file. So we'll go ahead and save this here. And now you have that file for your journal. If we select that again, it opens up the same file. So you can get to your journal file a lot quicker. So back in the app here, if it's also saying that there is a keyboard shortcut to be able to get to this as well. And if you type in the control or command shift J, your journal will also open. So that's already set as a global keyboard uh, shortcut. We'll go ahead and click all these off. Done, done, and done. We'll move this over and that's complete. You can also edit, uh, add and edit cards here as well. Let's move this one over to doing. So at the bottom, you have the add a card. You can add a card. It takes you into the uh, I'm done editor here and we can easily 
come in here and set up the the card itself so this is my card and let's see what happens if we don't put the link format up top here so it does put this is my card let's open this up okay so it does automate and take your title and it will automatically put the link format um, with the title that you put in it'll put the list that you're in and then it'll add in the number here on the side so that's good so you can go ahead and delete these as well let's go ahead and delete right clicking on that icon so that's deleted and again this is just how you add and delete or even edit your you can click the pencil here to edit your cards in markdown so if we go ahead and change this this uh, particular checkbox to done you can see that when we come here it's already done you can also add additional tasks and information into your card that way as well you can also open the file and do it directly into the file if you need to we'll go ahead and move that into done if you need any additional read documentation that you need to read on this particular application you can go to the omdone.io.docs page the page is laid out pretty intuitively um, it's really easy to navigate so you can peruse this documentation at your leisure to get more information on this particular product we'll go ahead and mark all these done and move it over to the done area there and the last couple cards that it has in here is basically how you can reach out to jesse here if you want to get some more information the application i really do kind of like the formatting here i don't use the kanban type of layout for project management much uh, for easy projects where you're just going to change the status of the different activities this really works well is the visual appeal here is pretty easy you can easily add in uh, new lists delete lists and customize this to your liking now when you add a new project every project needs to have its own folder uh, from what I've seen so like if I want to add this same folder in, into this I'm done folder that I have already it will not it's already open so it will not add a new one but if I add in let's not do it underneath here let's go one up we'll go I'm done two and we open that up you go through the same type of uh, configuration here where you pick how you want your files to be laid out it pre-populates these these lists here uh, by default and you can customize this as you need to so you will have to have all the, the your projects in their separate their separate folders but that's a good way to kind of organize the the, the cards and the documents and all the content for that particular project okay so that's the I'm done app this is version 1.6.11 I really like the the way they have it laid out here and the functionality you get from this card. Let me know if this is something that you would use. Um, I use Obsidian with Markdown and this could be something that um, if you have projects instead of trying to do them in Obsidian or some other project app, you can still do them in Markdown but get the, the view, this Kanban view for project management to make things a lot easier for you. The product does have a cost to it. The pricing for this application is $25 for a single license. So after you use your seven day free trial, it will have a, a cost associated to it. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you found the information helpful, go ahead and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until the next time, have a nice day.